Super Mayhem. Hello friends, it's Tim here again from Super Mayhem. Oh, and boy howdy, do we have some fun game hacking action for you today. So in today's Game GD Hijinx Series Edition, we're going to take a look at the massively popular and often requested 1990 platforming giant that is Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. And far out there was a lot of codes for this one. So if you love Super Mario in any way, shape or form, then be sure to smash a big fat like on this bad boy, share it with your friends, make a comment, let me know what you think about it, and of course subscribe with notifications on. And with all that said, on with the show! Starting off easy into this list, one of my favourite kinds of codes are the ones that mess with the gravity. Like the code DD2C-AF6F, which is pretty crazy. For a start, you actually die on the intro screen, get a game over, and then you can play the start screen, which is actually really cool. But what this code actually does is cause you to jump as high as you want whilst holding down the B button. This essentially allows you to fly across the entire level, no problems. Just watch out where you land. These are great kinds of cheats, so we're off to a flying start. Pun intended. The contrasting Game Genie code, DE2C-AF6F, isn't as fun, as, well, you can't really jump very high at all. See you later, Yoshi. The massive four-line code, CBB7-CD67, plus DBB7-6DA7, plus 3CB7-6FD7, plus 69B7-6F07 is pretty weird. When you start the game, the Mario at the top is black and seems to be wearing some kind of mask. When you jump into a level, you are still a black and white Mario, but this time, whenever you pick up a mushroom, you become invincible. Pretty wacky. I also noticed that when you get a 1-up, a feather would appear in your item box, which is also pretty handy. However, if you use or get a feather, your black and white stature disappears. A similar four-line code, that is CBB7-6D67 plus 5BB7-6DA7 plus 3CB7-6FD7 plus 69B7-6F07 is super strange. This time Mario's color palette is a weird almost neon color, and you seem to just scoot along the ground when you run. No legs flying here. This time when you get a mushroom, for some reason a piranha plant head appears on the ground and you get some kind of weird grey item in your item box. When you try and use this mysterious item, it starts floating through the sky almost like an enemy in a bubble. This sprite is bizarre, it looks like a mock-up of green Monty Moles or something. Oh, and if you try to collect this item, it actually hurts you and can kill you. Weird. Another classic Game Genie code is CBEA-6DAD which allows you to swim in any level you want. This even affects the intro screen, which is pretty hilarious. Look at Mario swim aimlessly before you even start the game. Naturally, this code makes passing actual levels a whole lot easier. Plus, you have the entertainment of the swimming animation. It's a win-win situation. The three-line code C9B7-6DA7 plus 3CB7-6FD7 plus 69B7-6F07 is another strange one. With this code in play, on the map screen, Mario at the top left becomes red and sort of walks and looks around. It's kind of strange. When you enter a level, you remain this weird red Mario and you start acting in a bit of a bizarre demeanor. This is amplified when Mario picks up a shell. Suddenly he keeps falling down backwards whenever you start walking. Plus, when you get a mushroom, you become Fire Mario. Pretty handy. I think we will call this one Drunken Red Fiery Mario. Or maybe you can come up with a better name in the comments. The cheat code 0BCD-AF6F is actually super epic. Whenever you enter a level, you just go flying upwards and enter one of Yoshi's bonus stages. You know the ones where you fly and collect coins? Not only is this awesome on its own, but when you complete the bonus level, or if you fall down, the level becomes beaten and you score yourself a purple Yoshi. Awesome. awesome, 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 awesome. Are you sick of those Koopa Troopers killing you in the first level? Try the Game Genie code 3E32-6DAD and you will remove all enemies from all levels. For some reason Mario looks like he is invincible, which is cool, I like it. But that doesn't matter because there are no enemies to run into. Unfortunately in my test it also removed items like the P-Block and it also removed the ribbon from the end poles, so well, you can't really pass the level. Still, it's a neat code. 
Moving on, we have a quick video question today sent in by our own correspondent, Shmur McGurr. Hello, my mayhem darling. I have a big problem. No matter what I feel, my Yoshi, whether it be the finest apple strudel, my Koopa Troopers, or even the best and finest Russian caviar, the purple bugger, he still a want to fly. How can I get him to get off his butt and take me where I need to go? Well, Mr. McGurr, the two-line game genie code B9E5-A4AD plus F8E5-A7DD is pretty cool as well. Basically, whenever you collect a Yoshi coin, your Yoshi will get wings. You don't even need to be riding a Yoshi first for it to even happen. You can collect a Yoshi coin and then when your Yoshi will spawn, it will have wings. Or if you're already riding a Yoshi, he will then gain wings. If this wasn't awesome enough on its own, if you die whilst using the winged Yoshi, you will automatically pass the level and unlock the next. Now this is a handy Game Genie code. EDA5-0F6F is another super handy cheat code. With this enabled, all you have to do is push up on your control pad and then press select in order to change Mario into various power-ups. Unfortunately, invincibility isn't included, but it is definitely handy if you need to change from small to cape Mario, for example. This is another good one to have handy whilst playing Super Mario World. Since I just complained about not being invincible, we should probably take a look at the code DDA6-DF07. This cheat actually enables what is known as the second Nintendo debug for the game. By holding L and pressing A twice, you become invincible. Not in the star sense, but rather in the sense that you can move Mario anywhere you want on the screen and bypass enemies no problem. Presumably this was used to test certain parts of levels to make sure there were no bugs missed, so you could just place Mario anywhere you wanted. I noticed that while I was fighting Iggy, it was like I was running full on. I still had a cape from the previous cheat, and could fly easily as if I had just been running. Oh, and you get out of the moving Mario around mode, just hold L and then press A again to return to normal gameplay, otherwise you will get stuck as you can't go through doors and such. Whilst we are going, I have to add in the Quick Game Genie cheat code 14B4-6F07. This one lets you start the game with a very handy 99 lives. It's pretty useful if you are testing out cheat and keep dying like me. If you want even more lives, then try the two-line code DD64-A7D7 plus DD67-AFA7. With this in play, every coin you collect, even Yoshi coins, will give you an extra life. It also seems to muck up the coin counter up the top right, but oh well, free lives baby! The two-line code B837-6D61 plus B837-6F61 promised me that Lakita would throw out an amazing flying hammer bro. However, this didn't quite work, but that doesn't mean it's not a handy code. Well, when I first killed Lakita, a hammer bro did come flying out of him, but Lakita himself, whether in cloud or pipe form, doesn't throw enemies at all. This makes levels featuring that menace a whole lot easier. BF37-6D61 does affect Lakitu quite drastically though. This time, instead of throwing no enemies, Lakitu dispenses charging chucks like there is no tomorrow, both in cloud and pipe form. This nearly makes the game impossible, as before you know it you will be surrounded by chucks, all wanting a piece of that sweet Mario pie. This code can actually be modified by changing the first two letters or numbers of the code to deliver different effects. Here is a list of the modifiers for you to test out. You can go from bob -ombs all the way to fish and back. If you want to make Lakitu more deadly, that is. An interesting Yoshi code is 82E9-64A0 plus 82E2-04D0. With this one enabled, Yoshi will be able to keep generating the item or enemy he just ingested. So in this example, I picked up a red Koopa Trooper, I then sped out fire as expected, but then my next tongue adventure was normal. But then the second press of Y, I once again shot out fire, without eating another Koopa Trooper. This is pretty cool and has some weird effects. I was able to continually spit out green shells, and for some reason at one point I even spat out an information box. This is an interesting cheat for sure. And the last game Ginny code I will leave you with is 5332-6DAD, which is actually pretty awesome. Weird, but awesome. So what the code promises is invisibility, which is pretty true. The intro screen already shows a ghost Mario playing the game, which is pretty amazing on its own. However, when you play yourself, it gets weirder. For a start you are missing from the top left of the map screen, 
Then when you enter a level, there is a kind of Shadow Mario on the left hand side of the screen that kind of emulates the state of Mario, ducking, running, etc. However, your actual position on the screen is a bit of a mystery. Unless of course you are holding a turtle shell, or if you are super observant to the little bits of dust that appear when you stop or suddenly change direction. I also tried this code whilst riding a Yoshi, and it looked like Yoshi was the main player. This bugged pretty badly though, and I ended up being able to just move through anything all the way to the end of the level, but I wasn't able to pass it for some reason. This is a super wacky cheat code, and definitely one you should try out if you have the chance. It would make a great challenge cheat or something. Anyway, that's it for today my friends. I really hope you enjoyed hacking Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo with me. If you did, then be sure to smash a big fat like on this bad boy, share it with your friends, subscribe with notifications on, and maybe make a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And if you really like what I do here at The Mayhem, then maybe check out our join button or our Patreon page below to help fund future videos. And with all that said, I'll catch you soon.